Hello again, everyone. We welcome you to Larry Fruit Stadium at Hartman Field in Wauseon, site for the big matchup in the NWOAL. A couple of longtime fierce Fulton County rivals set to do battle. It's the 69th meeting as the Indians of Wauseon entertain the Blue Streaks of Archibald. Alongside my partner, Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, we're set. We've been here a handful of times through the years, seeing this battle, another big one, and really you just have to say the two schools, Archibald and Wauseon. Well, Mr. Mayor of Northwest Ohio, I have a question for you. Where else would you rather be than right here, right now, watching one of the best rivalries in Northwest Ohio? Of course, Archibald really likes this rivalry, having won six in a row. Wauseon trying to get back in the win column here tonight. Yeah, Archibald's pulled ahead the all-time series lead with that uh, six-game winning streak, and we'll tell you why this game's so important. We'll see if we can take a look at the NWOAL standings here. We've seen the Liberty Center, and they've kind of run through some of the teams in the league there. As you see the league standings, Tigers on top, and Archibald Wasion in that uh, pile for second place. A winner will uh, go a long way to try to stay in the league race, and we haven't mentioned the two important words everyone likes to say as we get to the second half of the regular season, computer oh, and points. Right, right, right. You start looking at that column, right, seeing where you're at, top 16. Are we in or not? And, you know, Wasion still has a shot at this thing. They lost to Patrick Henry, but if they can win out, they got Brian next week. Of course, they have Archibald this week, and then they end with the Liberty Center. If they go uh, undefeated the rest of the way, they'd be a, a co-champ of the NWAL. So you see that Archibald comes in at 6-1 and one and 3-1, and one. Wauseon at 5-2. and two. That non-league loss to a, a pretty stout Bellevue team. Wauseon has had some battles with in the postseason down through the year. So an interesting matchup. Partner, let's take a look at the Blue Streaks of Archibald. Under now ninth-year head coach David Dominic just picked up his 70th win of the Blue Streaks. They come in at currently sixth in the Division Five Region 18 computer poll. Now, according to the Fantastic 50 and the great job that Drew Pastor does with that, he has the Blue Streaks as locked into a playoff spot, and even so, meaning if they lose out, they still won't fall below the 16th spot to make the cutoff. You see some of the names here. We've seen the Blue Streaks uh, already this year, but Cade Brunner, the quarterback, 69% of his passes, 1,063 yards, 12 touchdowns, but has been prone to make a few mistakes, five interceptions. Yeah, you saw that in our game against uh, Liberty Center, right? Uh, the interception of Cam Callie, who returned it back all the way for Liberty Center, really changed the complexion of that football game. When Kate Brenner takes care of the football, well, I should say, when they protect him, mm -hmm. and he has the ability to take care of the football, and that's when this offense is really good. But if the protection breaks down, he is prone to make stakes, mistakes like a lot of quarterbacks, right? Who wants to get hit if you're the quarterback? Kate Brenner is a dynamic player when you give him time. I have a feeling we might hear about the uh, lines for both teams later on when we get to the tips of the game. Also want to tell you that our pregame uh, sponsor for our game tonight is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Let's talk about some of the athletes uh, listed on offense. Everyone seemed to kind of learn their role, starting with a uh, senior running back, Lucas Dominic, 553 rush yards. 258 receiving yards. He's combined for 10 touchdowns. And how about Jack Hurst? Just the different ways that Archibald finds to get him the football. Yeah, Jack Hurst had two for two co completion last week, but he's been a guy that when they throw him in at the quarterback position, you think run heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he's able to throw the football, and that's a, a big key because he has been that run game quarterback short distance. They bring him in. They kind of plunge away with him. So if he's going to be able to throw the ball from that position, the defense can't load up the box against it. Yeah, numbers might not be impressive for Hurst. 259 rush yards, 167 receiving yards, but it is 10 combined total touchdowns. Oh, by the way, also has a kickoff and a punt return score as well. Yeah, he's a guy with the ball in his hands. He is an aggressive runner. He's not afraid of contact. He'll run you over, then has the speed to run by you. Kate Brenner's also found a top target. Another senior, Chase Miller, 20 catches, 351 yards, four touchdowns, also with a kickoff return score this year. Yeah, last week against Swatton, he only averaged 35 yards every time he caught the ball, so he is a big play receiver. Look for him to test Wasian vertically early in this game. A defense for the Blue Streaks led by Wyatt Ripke. Defensive end linebacker, kind of hybrid, 44 tackles. Hurst with 34. They've combined nine tackles for a loss and seven sacks. Now, the thing about Wyatt Ripke is he does such a great job using his hands. He can shed the offensive lineman, the tackle over him, get to the quarterback. A big play guy, five tackles for a loss and four sacks among his 44 tackles. Also interested in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. We're going to talk about Tyson Rodriguez in just a couple of minutes. He's going to be defended most of the night 
by Steven Dillard, top defensive back for the Blue Streaks with four interceptions. Yeah, he's one of the best ones in the NWOAL, and we know Tyson Rodriguez is one of the best explosive receivers in the conference. Randy, they will move him around. He's going to be tough to double up, but 13 of his 34 catches have gone for TDs this year. That's pretty explosive. Yeah, it's 13 of the 18 that Trey Parsons has thrown. Let's take a look at the end against of Wasion on our fifth-year head coach, Sean Moore, now 34 and 16. They are uh, coming in at number seven in the Division IV Region 14 computer poll. Also, according to the Fantastic 50, they seem to be locked into a playoff spot as well. Before we get deeper into the uh, numbers for Wasion, let's take a pause here as the Wasion Marching Band is ready to perform our national anthem. Anthem. Hey, Randy and Biles back with you here after the National Anthem. And a partner talked a little bit about the Indians of Wasion offensively, about senior quarterback Trey Parsons, 79 of 134, 59% of his passes but 18 touchdowns and two interceptions, some gaudy numbers. Yeah, that last number, right, two interceptions, that is so important. You remember a year ago, early in the season, they turned the ball over so much. Parsons took over about the middle of the season, has really grown into this position, arguably the most improved uh, quarterback in the NWAL. And uh, we talked a little bit about Tyson Rodriguez. Partner, let's talk a little bit about the Indian defense quickly, but the tackling machine that's Austin Kovar. Yeah, Austin Kovar, high praise from his head football coach. He says he will watch more film than him. That's a guy that is dedicated. He's a contact fellow. Watch him. Number 10, 100 tackles on the air. He is a fantastic. Also, Tyson Rodriguez, a great secondary linebacker type player. The secondary member that is third on the team in tackles with 41, Rodriguez Randy. All he does is tackle, intercept, catch, run for touchdowns. Oh, by the way, he'll punt. Kicks he'll the kick, extra points. Kicks the extra point, sells the popcorn. Does a little bit all. of everything. All right, Miles, while well, we have uh, a quick moment here before our kickoff, let's get into our tips of the game. And let's start with the uh, visiting Archibald Blue Streets. Yeah, number one, it's my favorite Beatles song, but it's also the number of Tyson Rodriguez, number nine, number nine, number nine. Archibald, got to be aware of him. Make sure you double him at all costs because he's a touchdown machine. Number two, bump the routes. This is a Wasion team that likes to run under and shallow crosses. Make sure you're bumping them with those linebackers. And number three, so important, the line of scrimmage. Gensler, Siegel, Burles, Ripke, and Rufinock, they've got to control Temple up front. And about the uh, tips of the game for the Wasion Indians. Well, we're going to see it right here. Don't chase Chase. Do not kick it to the man that is back deep. Chase Chase Miller, we've seen him. He had one for return. He's had two for over 50 yards. Don't kick it to him. Number two, the Parson Project makes sweet music. He sure does. Trey Parsons, unbelievable quarterback. Give him time. He will take care of the football. And then number three, play angry. We've done this game how many years in a row? And we've seen Archibald basically outplay Wasion, right? Mm -hmm. and that's how they've gotten the wins. they got to play angry. It's been six in a row for Archibald. Play angry tonight if you're the Indians. And our pregame and tips of the game tonight uh, have been brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Archibald will receive the opening kick. Turn's going to get out near the 25-yard uh, line. And we are underway as the rain that begins to uh, pick up a little bit here at the opening kick. Now Rodriguez kicked it and brought some rain almost on cue as soon as the foot hit the football. The rain started to dribble down. Streaks take over. They're going to mark that nose of the football right at the 25-yard line. A yeah, bunch formation to the left. Comes the end around, and that's going to go for about seven yards. As Chase Miller able to get to the outside. Yeah, a little bit of a, a fake. Uh, this guy is going to be a toss sweep to the bunch formation, something that Archibald likes to do, but they give it to Miller on a little bit of reverse. First play of the game, a little trickeration early by David Dominic, head football coach and play caller for Archibald. Give him seven on the run. He's going to bring up second and three. Streaks go to that heavy look already with Hurst lined up at quarterback. He's in a shotgun. He's going to send Dominic out. Hurst is going to try to run. Try to get out of one tackle, but it's the second one that tripped him up. I believe that was Xavier Martinez, number 14, as we see a replay kind of reaches up and just trips him up. Now watch Martinez. 
just play outside, fights through the block and just bites the ankle. Tackle for loss. Big play for this Wasi on defense. Third down right here, Randy, early in this football game. They can get a three and out. Boy, it'll go a long way establishing themselves as a tough defense all through up tonight. And it's a loss of two on the run. Brings up a third and five back to the 30-yard line. Brings Cade Brenner back in. Brenner looking middle of the field. Has a man. It's going to be enough for a first down. Ball's, Ball's going to come loose at the end, and the Indians have it. Chase Miller fighting for yardage. That's going to be recovered by Braylon Miller. Look at the route being bumped. All of a sudden there's an open window. Miller catches it, and then it's going to be chopped out from behind. Yeah, it's Levi by Tester, Tester, number 21. A nice job by Tester getting it free. It's also been a big play for Archbold. And how about the name Tester when it comes to Wasion Athletics? Seems like every time a big play happens, there's a tester somewhere near it. So the Indians will have it on the plus side of the field. They're going to start this drive after the fumble. The Archibald 46. 10-29 left to go opening quarter in our scoreboard brought to you tonight by the State Bank. See Parsons might try to take advantage of this drive football. Parsons going to take off and run. He's going to be brought down after getting maybe a yard. Parsons not much of a runner. It looked like Wasian was going to take the shot that you were talking about. Got back there, put the back foot in the ground after a five-step drop, but lights of white jerseys were right on top of him. Have to be a little bit alarming for Sean Moore, the head football coach, who also calls a place for Wasian that your first pass attempt and defense alignment are on your quarterback. At just 150 or so rushing yards, here's Fred trying to stretch this out. He's going to get to the outside, has a little bit of running room. He's going to be brought down and inside the 40. Well, this is something that Wasion has tried to do a little bit more of this year. Remember, they were about to throw every single down a year ago, but running the football out of the position that is a little bit weird for Wasion called a tight end. And you see them use the tight end right there to seal the edge, get French free on the edge. Friend goes for 10. It's enough for a first down down to the 36-yard line. My friend showed he has some speed right there. He's lined up as a uh, sidecar to the right of Parsons in the shotgun. Two receivers lined to that far side. Archibald able to get, uh, or Wasi unable to get Archibald to jump. Friend to go right back, tries to cut up field. Did a nice job that time using his blockers. There's a knife down there and a good tackle made by Evan Wendt. A great kick out block by Logan Patterson, number 55. Leading friend free, getting a lot of work done on that left hand side for Wasian. Outnumbering with the pull. Going to give him a game of four to the 32, where it's going to bring up second and six. Back to friend as well, trying to stretch this time, run into the right side, runs right into about four or five white jerseys. Looks like he might get. I was going to say a yard, but it looks like they're going to spot him back in the 32, so no gain on the play. And that was Burroughs underneath it that got the tackle. A young man that is looking to play at the Division Three level next year. Has a lot of schools interested in him, made to play there, and there's some liquid sunshine that our camera guys have captured. It seems weird right at the stroke of 7 o'clock kickoff time. That's a liquid that uh, stayed away. We had a bright yellow ball in the sky through most of the day here in town. We're getting that time of year, we're going to see that bright yellow ball less and less. Third down, Parsons looking to throw, coming to the near sideline. That one's going to be incomplete, thrown behind the intended target. Looking for Braylon Miller. Miller trying to explain to the official that he had to have his route cut off because he was held. Well, you're allowed to get handsy here in high school until the ball is thrown. There's a bag that has blown onto the field as you see the flags really Straightened out because of the wind is blowing. And fourth down, field position in your favor. Looks like Wasian going to go for it. Yeah, everyone's going to pick up. I don't know if that was a bag. It might have been someone's towel. At any rate, it's picked up. The Indians are going to keep the offense on the field. Kind of stuck at no man's land at the 32-yard line. Looks like Parsons wasn't ready for the snap. Flag comes down. He's going to throw this one complete to the near side. Not going to be enough for the first down as he just gets rid of the football back out to Miller. 
See what the flag is out in the numbers of the far side. Someone for Wasian might have taken off early. Yeah, it's going to be a false start. You saw the far official look at Coach Dominic and ask him if he wanted to decline the penalty. And of course, he says yes. And just nobody got set right there in time. And that's on your quarterback. Quarterback has to look from left to right to make sure everybody is set and then call for the cadence after that. Usually, Randy, you teach the quarterback to look left to right for set, then you kick your eyes, look at the coverage, to be sure you're aware where it's at, then you go ahead and snap the football. Not done effectively for Wasi on there, but if you're Archbold and Jack Downey, boy, you got to be excited about the defense stepping forward after that sudden change moment on the turnover. Streaks will take over on downs at their own 28-yard line. Still 7.52 left to go open a quarter, as you see on our State Bank scoreboard. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by the State Bank. Contact State Bank for all of your banking, financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender. First down play. Jack Get out across the, the 30. Forward. Forward out by Miller. Now it's going to be Gensler on the outside, number 72, that six. got just enough of the edge sealed, allowed Hurst to get to the perimeter, a win on first down for Archibald. Pick up a four is going to bring up second and six. Now trips down here. Looks like Wasian is going to play man on trips. Very tough to do. Brenner in the shotgun is going to hand off Lucas Dominic, who's just going to be ripped down by the shoulders. Now unfortunately, I think it's going to be a horse collar. Let's take a look at it. Going to grab from behind. Yeah, it looks like you saw down. yeah the. I believe the right hand come in. You see the flag being thrown. Uh, Logan Patterson, good job getting in the backfield, creating havoc. Just unfortunate. Where, where are you supposed to grab there? You know, kind of one of those plays. It's so tough to play defense sometimes with the way the rules are. Penalty's going to move the Blue Streaks out to the 42-yard line. Also be a first down for Archibald. The weather might... Uh, Dampen, no pun intended, the offensive attacks that we expect to see tonight. Yeah, it looked like Cover creeping to show blitz, but. Uh, Brenner was kind of stuck between getting rid of the uh, running and passing, does get it out to Dominic. Lucas Dominic able to get out across the 45 yard line. Uh, this is going to be a screen all the way. You see the right tackle allow his man to go upfield and work upfield. This is well read by Wasiam, but Dominic, great job of navigating and making positive yards out of what looked like it was going to be nothing. Yeah, that's my apologies. He's kind of spinning the ball in his hand. I thought he was losing grip on it, but he was just trying to get the right grip to get rid of it. Gain of five on the play. He's going to bring up second and five as the streaks inch closer to midfield. Brenner looking to throw once again. Gets rid of this one. It's tipped up, and it's going to be intercepted. Austin Kovar might as well add an interception to those 100 tackles. Now, something that Archibald loves to do, get Dominic underneath. That's the throw though, right? You want to get that throw below the shoulder pads, get it down. Any type of ball that is above the shoulder pads, if it is not caught, has a chance to be intercepted. Goes off the hands of Dominic and a man that is always close to the ball. Kovar comes up for yet another big play for Wasian. Indians once again a solid field position. They'll start at their own 47. Six and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Saw this in their loss against Patrick Henry where they couldn't take advantage of good field position a couple of times. What ended up being a tight game. Parsons looking to throw. Headed downfield, he's gonna overshoot everyone incomplete, looking for Wyatt Smith. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a hold back here as well. This is not boding well for Wasiana if it is a hold because first time they tried to throw, all white jerseys were in front of their quarterback, Trey Parsons. Now second time they try to throw early in a drive and it's gonna be a hold. It's gonna be tough for them to hold up throwing the football. So the Indians will be backed up 10 yards. They'll reset this at about the 37. And we can see the wind whipping around here. I, for one, am glad we are in our nice cozy booth. Feel bad for Curtis and Sam. <laughs> well, how about the guys? How about the guys that are electing to wear shorts on the sideline tonight? What, what are you thinking there? The guys electing to wear shorts in the broadcast booth. <laughs> Well, Randy Roberts, when you got legs like that, you never want to yeah, cover you don't, them up, right? right? You don't. You can't. So the Indians 
Got a, another receiver onto the field quick. A little surprised first. Archibald didn't loosen up their coverage here on first and 20. First and yeah, Parsons scrambling around. This one's going to be tipped in the sideline incomplete. Again, pressure by the front four for Archibald. And if they can get pressure with four and drop seven, boy, it's going to be tough for Wasian to complete anything in the passing game. That was the man that we highlighted in the uh, pregame, uh, Mason Siegel, that got uh, the, the penetration in the backfield again, making things difficult. You know, one of the things you can do, Randy, is throw it quick against great pressure or set up your screens, slow that front four down. So what the Indians do here on second and 10. It's going to be a throwback screen. Had a lineman out there trying to block as they get it out to White Smith. Smith just slipping around that wet surface. That's going to go for a loss. One of the officials well, telling it, coach to get back as well as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, how about the recognition right there by Warner, number 73. Realizes what it's going to be, comes back. There's a reason why that offensive tackle is letting me come free. Stop and come back and get involved in the screen. Loss of four on the play sets up third and 24. Now, correction, that was actually Siegel, number 53. White Ripke also run into the football. Parsons with pressure coming as to throw this one downfield. Trying to hold up a Smith, but he's unable to make the catch. It's incomplete, and the Indians are forced into a fourth down. And Wyatt Smith has his man beat. Got to be a little bit concerning for Jack Downey. Third and 20. You got to talk to your corners. Why is anyone getting deeper than you on third and 20? Very fortunate that pass was not complete. That would have been a first down and a big play. There's Nathan Juarez out there in coverage against Smith. Now, Juarez had a great cushion. He was about 12 yards off. Just let the receiver dictate terms and run right by him. A little confusion on the punt unit for Wasian. Kovar runs on late. He'll be the up man now. Archibald got uh, one of the ends for Wasian to flinch. That was a veteran move. Wait till we get a chance to see it again. You flinch anytime. You're going to get the flag for a false start. Steven Diller came up number nine, and he did the old, I'm going to go. I'm going to attack the line of scrimmage. And he got the, the offensive lineman to move. Well, it was actually the slot. Logan Peasley was the one that moved because Diller was showing he was coming early. High snap, but Rodriguez able to get this one down. Solid boot with the win is going to have uh, Chase Miller chased back to his 35-yard line, trying to set up a wall is Archibald. He's going to run into a bear hug, and down he goes just past the 30-yard line. A great punt. Better job of keeping Miller hung in. But if you're Archibald after two turnovers on your first two possessions and the score is still tied, you got to feel pretty good about where you're at. If you're Wasian, boy, if you lose this football game, you're going to really lament the fact that you took, did not take advantage of those early turnovers. Streaks will start the third drive of the night from their own 33, still 5-10 left to go in the opening quarter on our State Bank scoreboard. Those look like a couple of guys who are cold and wet. Chain gang out there looking like they're having a miserable time tonight. Handoff on first down, Lucas Dominic's gonna run into his own blocker, bounce off of him, run for a couple more late flag thrown from about 20 yards downfield. Uh, sure was. Let's see if we can pick it up. One of the favorite things Archibald loves to do is run the counter. You see the big guard and tackle lead the way. Dominic says, hey, either block or get out of my way. Pushes Gensler forward and then falls forward. What, a little bit of a face mask, would you see? Yeah, I saw Kovar had the face mask, you see. It is a penalty uh, coming against the Indians, so they'll add to this. So penalty moves Archibald into the Wasian side of the field, down to the Indian 43. There's that formation that Archibald opened up with, bunch to the left. It'll be a handoff out of it again, going back to Dominic. Dominic gets the outside, down the sideline, runs out of a shoulder tackle. Someone just grabbed the jersey, and finally he's out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Yeah, he's going to get a good kick-out block right there by Siegel. Good lead block by Hurst. Nobody there. And I tell you what, upfield, Brody Bailey did a great job of sealing it for him. 
really Katie barred the door, no one there. Lucky for Wasian that they were able to knock him out of bounds or it would have been six easily. And that was Levi Tester, second big play for him today. Picks up 28 on the run. It's gonna be first and 10 at the Indian 15 yard line. Brenner, quick pitch. As this time they go to Josiah Gomez. Gomez will get about a yard as the Indians stretch that out pretty well defensively. And Dominic had to come out after two big runs and a guy that uh, it's nice to have a backup running back, really a 1A and 1B in, in Gomez. We've seen Gomez, he's been electric with the ball in his hands a couple times already this year. And of course, he's a really good defensive player as well. Pick up a one on the run, sets up second and nine from the 14. Keep an eye on Chase Miller down here to the right-hand side. Hurst this time comes in as a back. They're going to run the opposite way, and the Indians read that one. And a big stop made there. Ty Davis. We didn't talk about it much in the pregame, but a nice job staying home, reading the fake, and coming up with a big stop. Yeah, I'm not, not sure that Brenner actually read it. And Davis did, though. He, he was smart enough not to go for the cookie jar in the middle of the field. Hung loose, played his responsibility, tackle for loss. Puts Archibald now in a really tough third and 15. How are you think? Probably four down territory I would here. think so, yeah. Big loss of uh, six on that run. Brenner in a shotgun once again. Oh, Be ready for the pass. Special play here for Hurst, giving him the options. Hurst is going to slip as he tried to put a foot in the ground to make a move and not sure how successful everyone's going to be at that tonight. Yeah, remember they ran that toss reverse early in the quarter. And I really think this was going to be a pass because the seven route was covered well by Wasian. Hurst wisely took it down and got positive yards by running the football. So he gets down to the 13, so he gets seven back. It's going to be fourth and eight. A tough to hit those kind of gadget plays, Randy, when it's third and long because the secondary plays off. Looks like the streaks might be trying to draw Wasian off sides. They're unsuccessful, so they're going to take a timeout. So Archwell's going to think about what they want to do on fourth down. With the timeout, we'll take one as well. Offense on the field. Well, it looks like Archwell, the uh, long decision here, partner. We saw a personnel change and then maybe a change of heart. And it looks like the uh, streaks keeping the offense on the he field here. Fourth and eight from the Indian 13. Hurst goes in motion. Brenner's going to roll that far side of the field. Looking for the end zone. This one is going to be caught with one and a touchdown, Chase Miller. Oh, Chase Miller was well covered. But boy, did he do a great job of creating separation. It's going to be an out and then an up. Rolling Brenner to that side. Brenner just throws it up for a prayer. And it's going to be answered by Chase Miller. A little bit of hands work going on right there. Braylon Miller falls down. Big play by Chase Miller. So after two turnovers, the streaks are able to convert a uh, punt into points. And now Rudy Roger on to attempt the extra point, and the kick is up. And that one will sneak just inside the upright, and it is good. So the streaks come away with the first points of the quarter late to here in quarter number one. We'll take a break on WOSF. Seven up and Archibald the lead over uh, Wasi on here. 2.26 to go opening quarter on our State Bank scoreboard. Partner, I think you wanted to uh, see something here on this replay. Yeah, I want you to see the coverage. Does a great job of squeezing Miller to the sideline right here, but instead of going through the receiver to the ball, he turns his hips towards the quarterback, and that allows him to fall down and get the separation. Had Braylon Miller played it right through the receiver Miller, mm -hmm. Miller would have been successful against Miller. Miller and Miller, huh? Miller and Miller. Good kickoff for the streaks. This one's going to be fielded at about the 14 by Rodriguez. Rodriguez right up the seam will get uh, out across the 25. Let's see what the Indians can do here. 2.21 to go in our opening quarter. Uh, you know who's in on that tackle? Good to see, too. Eddie Yoder, number 59. The young man oh, yeah. that we saw against the Liberty Center with a, a vicious right at the whistle type of hit against Liberty Center. Caused a lot of controversy. Uh, good to see him back out there. 
and getting involved, making a tackle on special teams. Now going to play linebacker here. So the Indians take over their own 27. 221 to go, opening frame. Archibald's won six in a row. They lead the all-time series 35, 32, and one. They've had some nail biters and they've had some blowouts. It's been uh, a three and three friend on first down running straight ahead. He's gonna carry a couple guys with him out across the 35. Yeah, let, oh, sorry, partner, go ahead. I was just gonna say, you gotta like running backs where it doesn't look like there's anything there, right? And they still kind of put their head down and move forward. That was all on friend, just chewing up yards when there was no blocking and a little bit of tempo here now by Wasian. Yeah, Archibald able to win last year 20 to 12, but they also wins 41-7, 38-0, and 35-7 as a part of this six game win streak. Well, Wasian had won the four before that, so that's about how this goes. It's not usually back and forth. Someone usually gets on a roll and wins about four or five in a row. It's a couple years too where Wasian, it looked like they were gonna go ahead and get one and Archibald, this, this weird situation's at the end of the game. They had the to win it. 36-35 game back in the COVID year of 2020. Indians able to get three yards there. That's enough for a first down. Parsons in a shotgun, looks to throw. He's going to load up, oh, he's comes got near him. side. That one's hauled in. White Smith with it, and Smith easily into the end zone for a touchdown. And <laughs> Smith getting a, little, getting a little dance involved in the end zone right there. A little surprise that was a flag, but good job. Let the young man celebrate. That's a big play. A look at the arm by Parsons, though. Great follow through. Oh, just beats his man silly. Wyatt Smith just styling and profiling. He says, I am him. Big play man. 62 yards into the end zone. Now the Indians an extra point away from tying this up. Trey Parsons needs some help. There's no T out in the field, so a coach will throw that in. It's Rodriguez on to attempt the extra point. How about Rodriguez not even stepping it off? You know, most kickers will go to the block and walk it back. Just kind of knuckles it across the crossbar. What a way to tie this one. So 7-7, we're tied. We'll take a break here at WOSN. Oh, Wasian getting ready to kick off here at 7 7, tied with Archibald. Minute 12 left to go. Quarter number one kickoff is going to drive Chase Miller back inside the uh, five yard line. Miller able to get to the outside. Flags come down here as Miller has uh, put on the Jets here. Yeah, I think this one's going to be coming back. Really going to negate a great individual effort by Miller. Yeah, there's something you want to show us about this kickoff return team for Archibald. Yeah, I wanted to show you a little bit what they like to do, a lot of teams like to do on kickoff returns. You see right there, you get the, the front line to peel back about 20 yards, form a wall, and then the second grouping peels back. You get a double wall there, and when the guys run down, you get a boom, and then you get another boom, and then Miller runs right through for big yardage. But Wasian doing a great job of being the boom instead of getting boomed. Is this guy the rub-a-dub-dub? -dub? What's he? <laughs> He's the right. In the tub? He's the no rubber ducky. He's the right up back. He might need one today. A terrible starting position, though, for Archbold after a nice return by Miller, negated by the hold. Yeah, they're going to start back at their own seven yard line just over a minute to go in quarter number one. Now, just going to go on uh, Lucas Dominic, get him a little bit of yardage. So they have a little bit of room to operate. That's Ian Martin, the senior. Coming down from his defensive end position, getting involved in the tackle. He'll pick up four. It's going to bring up second and six from the 11. As the streaks will have to run at least one more play here before we get to the end of the quarter. Here comes a blitz by Kovar. Oh, my, ball's out. And it looks like the Indians have it. Still fighting underneath that pile. And it is Ty Davis. Well, how about timing a blitz correctly? Look at Kovar just blowing everything up in the backfield. How do you do? We need a big play. I'll do it for you. 
Kovar, a stud in the middle for Wasian. Davis able to outrace both Brenner and I believe that was Wyatt Ripke for the football. Is the second fumble that the streaks have had here in this opening quarter. Oh, you think he has studied the cadence of Archbold? He was shot out of a cannon right through a gap. Nobody picked him up. A two back set, look for run. Parsons still in that shotgun. He's got Kovar beside him. Kovar is going to be the lead man for Friend, working off that left side. Pyle still moves forward now. It was pushed down. I don't know if they gave him a whole lot. They're going to give him, it looks like, inside the five, maybe to about the three. Yeah, more importantly, though, for Wasian, remember early in the game, their run plays, the pile was going backwards at the end of the play. Not so much now. The piles are moving forward towards the Archbold defensive line. There's a Jack Downey. He's going to have to get his front four fired up for this uh, goal line stand. That's going to be the end of our opening quarter. It's a good one so far with Wasi on threatening, and we'll be back right after this. Seven seven, we're tied as we begin quarter number two. Indians first play the second quarter, going back to Ryan Fred. He's gonna run right into Hurst, who's gonna drive him down to the ten yard line. We'll see where they spot him. Or Hurst and Gomez team up for a big stop there. A really big play for that Archbold defense, moving Wasian backwards here. Now third down. And he's got to start to wonder, Sean Moore. You get the fourth down. Do you try and kick a field goal in these conditions, or do you go for it? Got to get something out of this great starting position on the three after the turnover. Can't come up empty. Yeah, already the third turnover of the night for the Blue Streaks. Parsons now looking to throw, has a man cutting. Dropped as Rodriguez started to cut up field before he could get both hands on the rock. That's their favorite route combination, the under-under because if it's man coverage, you are rubbing off that man coverage of a zone. You see you see Yoder just a little bit tardy on it. It was gonna be a touchdown. You don't see Tyson Rodriguez drop a pass, even though it was a little bit behind him. You just don't see that. I think this is a smart decision by Sean Moore going for the field goal. Have to come up with something after that field position. So they are gonna settle for the field goal. Now still issues. Second time of special teams, we've seen someone come on late for the Indians. I got the waste of time out. Well, I guess you can't waste one in the first half. You got to get your personnel out there. But, Randy, I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about this. You go over special teams, the 11 count, at least half a dozen times between Thursday and Friday kickoff. You do it twice on Thursday. You do it once during a team meal. You do it once in pregame. You do it again. You count it up. You have to raise your hands. You even have guys stand up who's on the kickoff in the in the locker room and always, always drives coaches nuts. That one guy forgets, oh, yeah, I'm on an extra point team. I should be out there. So it looks like Wasian going to try to take the lead here. Getting the special teams unit set. Now, later in this broadcast will show you how Wasian loves to run that under under combination with their receivers and they'll do it out of a myriad of formations it makes it tough to defend this is definitely workable here for Rodriguez though within his range yeah, it's gonna be a 24 yard attempt Parsons the holder Snap is down and a kick. That's blocked. He's going to be blocked. I think it's David Oregon that got it. He's the one that is losing his mind coming off the field. Usually that's the guy that has got a tip on the football. Kind of a low kick. Archibald overloaded the left hand side. That looks like where the block came from. Streaks are able to take over and they will get it. I'm going to mark this at about the eight or nine, the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. Still deep in their own territory. However, we are still tied at seven. So if you were to tell David Dominic at the beginning of the night, you're going to turn the ball over three times in the first half. Still be tied as we go into the second quarter. He'd probably take it. Good run for Lucas Dominic on first down as he's going to pick up a nice chunk out to the 25. Yeah, kind of looking like the old Carson Dominic, right? Look at this. 
get the kick out and the kick out on the counter, and then he's just gonna lower his head and run right through people. The smart car running like the diesel truck. Yeah, pick up 16 on the run, gives the streaks first down at the 25. Brenner looking over the defense, single receiver each way. Check that as uh, first in at quarterback as they go back to Dominic. It's that five and 15, when you stand the right way, you hide the one. Well, Jack Hurst will tell you that he is the thicker of the two though. Jack's a guy that has lived in that weight room. I remember before the season last year, the, the big question, the loss of DJ Newman, who was right. gonna play quarterback. Yep. Brenner and Hurst were really one and one A. Hurst has found himself a home. Played primarily a receiver last year. Brenner is going to be forced out of the pocket. He'll have to throw this one away on second down. Well, if you're the offensive line and you're watching film tomorrow, you, you look at your quarterback and say, why'd you leave the pocket? We did a good job for you right there. And Brenner took a look to his left. His first read wasn't there and tried to scamper out. If he went through his progression, he had a nice pocket that was developed by his offensive line. Third down coming up here for the Indians. See 10-11 left to go. Before we get to halftime at our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Brenner, under pressure, is going to throw this one downfield. His defender slipped down, trying to go stride for stride with the Broden Pierce field. That one's going to be incomplete, and it's fourth down. Yeah, I missed that one. That was going to be a big touchdown uh, because Tester actually took a bad angle on it. You see him looking at his uh, cleat, his left cleat, thinks he slipped off of it. Smart move by him, though, because he could have interfered, but he didn't, pulled off, knowing that the throw was going to be off the mark. Rodriguez, the return man, is at his own 35 as Ripke will punt. Sends a wobbler that hits at the 40. Hits right on the nose. Does take an Archibald bounce. Oh, watch out. Rodriguez able to pick this up. That far sideline gets a few yards before he gets out of bounds. Big decent field position now for the Indians. Yeah, smart play by Rodriguez, right? Saved his team about eight yards in field position. Hidden yards right there worked out for Wasiat. So this one will start here right at their 35. Let's see if Wasian goes back to that vertical route. It was Nathan Juarez, number three, that they burnt to the top side. Let's see if you can test him again. Had uh, a lot of single receiver looks, and we see a man coming in motion. It's Rodriguez hasn't had the ball a lot as Wasian has uh, found something. This running attack tonight. Friend up the middle, successful uh, opening night of the year. It's been a struggle at times since then, but Friend able to get some positive yardage there on first down. Now you got a friend in Ryan if you want to run the football. Running much better than his 3.8 yards per carry coming into tonight. And gets eight there, brings up second and two. There's everyone for Wasian looks over the sideline to get the play called, and then everyone checks the wristbands. Yeah, still man coverage down here. Miller all singled up. Handoff once again. That is to Friend, and there's about four or five white jerseys that will Ryan swallow him up. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a tackle for loss. It was a workable second and about three. Now, now a favorable spot. Gets him back to the line of scrimmage. I thought it had been a tackle for loss. but yeah, I think they, they're they going to mark him back maybe a yard. Still manageable third down for the Indians, though. It's going to be third and three. Interesting. Archibald going to bring both their corners to the side here. Miller and Juarez playing man-to-man -man on the two slot and outside receiver. And Diller looks like he's creeping. Handoff once again goes to Friend. He's able to work off that left side. And it looks like he's going to have just enough for the first down. Needed to get to the 45. And it looks like he's going to fall forward and get the 46. The thing I like about Friend is he finishes runs, right? Always falling forward at the end of his run. 
saying, Coach, we should be running the football more. Plus, he's 5'9", so he can get underneath guys when he's got that mm -hmm. body lean and 193 pounds thick enough. You know, where do you tackle him at? There's not a lot of lean there. Parsons in the shotgun once again. Going right back to Friend. He's going to run right into that contact. Down he goes for a loss of about a yard. Yeah, Siegel again. How many times we called number 70's name here for Archbold in this football game? Tackle for a loss there. Down by Gomez. Loss of two. On That's going to be a loss of more than a yard. Yeah, it's going to be two or about three. Going to back them up to the 44. So they're going to say two. It's going to bring up second and 12. Quick look at the wristband and ready to go. Parsons rolling to the near side. Going to get rid of this one. There's all white jerseys as this one's going to be intercepted. So Miller with the pick here. Let's take a look at the replay. Now look at his right foot. He slips on the ground, is harassed by Diller, brought to safety blitz. And you wonder if Rodriguez cut the route, anticipating it was going to be a route that he's going to break to the sideline on a choice. You see Rodriguez looking back at his quarterback. I, I can't go get that, buddy. Boy, you're going to get a lot of interceptions in your life if you're Chase Miller. None easier than that. Yeah, just the third one of the year for Parsons. Streaks will take over at their own 26. 7.22 left to go before halftime. First, the man in motion, Brenner. Sets up the screen. They go back to Miller. Miller gets a block, but he's chased down from behind as Logan Patterson has made a couple of good plays defensively, makes the stop. He sure has. Remember, he had to tackle for loss early in his football game, but was negated by the horse collar. But Logan Patterson reads that well, and it's a good thing he did, right? Because the blocking in front of Miller was superb. He would have had big yardage. Does get five. It's going to bring him second and five, just out past the 30 to 31. Now a little sideways pass here. Different look to the option, so to speak. Yeah, I would have gave it. If this is a read-give option, I would have gave it, because look at Dominic. He is flying, but you know, took advantage of the crashing defensive end. That was a good read. Ian Martin flew down. Brenner's key is to pull it and go. Triple option, but you're throwing it. Does pick up four. It's going to be third and one. And I don't think Dominic got it, as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And no, uh, Roger Adams, number 67 on the bottom of that pile. We're gonna have a banged up Indian as well as we see number four, Ty Davis. Now watch Roger, Roger playing the left tackle. He's gonna split the double team then come down the line of scrimmage. Well, that's a heck of a play. Of course, Kovar there early, but Roger, Roger, he finishes it. Look at Kovar on the flex. Boys, that guy fired up the play. No gain on the play. It's going to be fourth and one. The sloppy field on their own side of the 50-yard line. Streaks are going to punt this one, and Wasian is going to give him a first down. And Xavier Martinez knew it. Now my question is, why are you up there fading that you're going to come after the punt? Just play off, play safe. They want to fake it? Great. Come make the tackle. No need to be up in a gap acting like you're going to come block it. Uh, it's just a silly mistake by Wasian. Give Archibald an opportunity. Three five yards on fourth and one. Oh, you do such a wonderful job getting a three and out situation, then you give him a gift like that. Brenner looking to throw again with the fake. Comes back to the near sideline. Miller's going to hang on to that one. And it's going to be a big play and a first down in Wasion territory. That's a little bit of an up and go, something that they love to do. Now let's see if Miller stepped out of bounds and reestablished himself. Yeah, it was a great battle. How about him catching the back end of the football? Chase Miller, we talked about him being a big play. He is a big play machine. Special teams, defense, offense. You need a big play. Chase Miller, he comes up. 37 yards on the pass play, and it's a first down. Down to the Wasion 27 as the streaks look to break the seven all tie. And they got man to man at the top side if they want it. Brenner's going to look the other way. Comes back again for the end zone. That one's going to be incomplete. 
Yeah, much better job by Braylon Miller. Turned into the receiver, Diller, this time. Gave up a touchdown earlier by turning his hips towards the quarterback. Play through the receiver to the football. Gets his hands on it just a little bit. Nice job, Braylon Miller. Going to bring up second and 10. Stops the clock. Still 5-11 left to go before halftime. Now officials are going to reset the play clock, it looks like. Now Dick Vermeil always used to say 80% of second down and tens are all run plays. Let's see what Archbold does here. It's exactly what they do, and it's a good one. As Lucas Dominic able to work that right side. Yeah, he's just a tough guy to find, isn't he? There's a counter against Siegel with a great block. Another good kick out block there by number 72. Gensler, he just hides behind the big fellas and then squeezes right by. We'll give him 10 yards down to the 17. As this next play will make it the longest drive either team has had here in the opening half. Brenner able to give it back to Rodriguez. They've found something working that right side of the line as Rodriguez will get down to about the 14-yard line. I'll tell you what they found. It's blocked down, blocked down at the play side, and then bring Mason Siegel, who just karate chops like Steven Seagal, kicks out those defensive ends. And when it's raining like that, you get a lot of towels on the footballs, and you say to the big guys up front, fellas, let's run the ball. Lyman like it, don't they? Oh, Lyman love this weather. Used to love coaching in this stuff. A lot of fun. Second and seven coming up for the streaks. Down to the 14 with that dry ball. Pass is going to be caught. And Chase Miller's into the end zone for the touchdown. How about the hands of Chase Miller? He's going to catch a fastball in between traffic. It's wet. It's hot. It's coming at me. I'm going to get hit. No big deal. I'm a big play machine. Chase Miller yet again. Streaks back on top here, 13 to seven. Puts the finishing touches on an eight play, 74 yard drive. Now Rudy Roger on to attempt the extra point. That one is a beauty right down the middle as the kick is up and the kick is good. So the streaks able to come right back. They jump back in front. We'll take a timeout here on WOSF. A 14-7 Archibald with a lead over Wasian. So we have uh, best night for football we've had all year, clearly. Yeah, it's football weather, right? Forget this 80 degree stuff. Let's get soggy grass, rain, running the football. It's the way it's intended. So the uh, touchback, the Indians will have it here. Miles, you have something else you want to show us? Well, yeah, take a look. We talked about the under combinations that uh, Wasion likes to run, right? Uh, see the Z that's running the under? And a lot of times that's Tyson Rodriguez and all the different formations. It's the same route combination, but one, two, three, four, five, six different formations. So now the defense has to defend those formations and that concept over and over again. That's what makes it tough for that Wasion offense to be stopped. May I ask whose child you borrowed to draw those? <laughs> Still looking for my Crayolas, they're missing. Indians have it at their own 20. So two things that amaze me about football with this much technology, we're still measuring first downs with two sticks and a chain, and Miles Holiday is drawing play, like literally drawing plays Parsons on a piece of paper. Keeper. Parsons is gonna scramble on first down. Well, you know with all the technology, paper and pencil and pen never work, never break down, right? Technology, how many times say, oh, I can't yeah, get this true. to work. And your pencil always works on paper. This Parsons will get about two yards, it looks like. Now, well defended by Archbold in the secondary. Anytime they've gone to that twin set, Archbold has just said, you know what, we're going to bring our corners over, we're going to man it. We know exactly what you're going to want to do. Call it second and eight from the 22. The Indians trying to answer the Archbold touchdown as they go back to Ryan Friend. Friend is going to be dropped uh, from behind. 
And tell me if you are uh, tired of hearing this name, but Mason Siegel in on the stop. Yeah, Mason's done a great job. Gomez involved in the tackle as well. And look at the Archbold people. They got some smart ones over there. They brought umbrellas. I do like the dudes, though. They're like, I don't need an umbrella. I'm going to sit out here and let the rain hit me. The uh, weather might have dampened what's usually a full crowd. It's still a solid uh, group, these two schools about 12 miles apart from each other. Third and nine. We had Rodriguez in the middle. Yeah, Siegel's tired of getting tackles for one yard gains. How about a sack? And Mason Siegel just having a heck of a game. We're gonna see him bomb the screen. He's just gonna bull rush and then rip right under. Boy, his defensive line coach, Coach Peterson, going to love that. They wore T-shirts that says D-line domination. That is domination right there. Mason Siegel with a big sack. And what do you do at the end, buddy? Got to give the flex. Loss of 11 on the play. He's going to bring up a fourth and 20 at the 10-yard line. Rodriguez just a step or so into his end zone. will send this punt, which hits at the 40. Chase Miller thought about it. We'll give uh, the streak still good field position as the ball is downed on the uh, Poisson side of the field. Yeah, smart play by Miller, I think, letting it hit and then calling everybody to get away. No need to risk an opportunity to drop the football on a, with a fair catch, you know, especially in this weather. Going to have good field position with 221 left, and they got two timeouts in their hip pocket. Archibald could go ahead and put another score on before half. They're going to start the Indian 42. How much worse does it have to get before you don't even bother sending a return man deep? I coached against a guy that never did. Didn't want to risk a guy that would drop the football. Oh Speaking boy. of dropping the football, Brenner nearly did. Hung onto it that time as he took a big hit from behind. Yeah, it's going to be Ian Martin, I think number 58, that's going to come from behind. Oh, boy, that was dangerous. I don't know how Brenner was able to get that left hand back on it. A good job by this secondary coverage sack right there. For Wasian. Loss of uh, three on the play is going to bring up second and 13. So we're going to see trips to the far side of the field this time out of the streaks. The zone coverage out of Wasian. And we're going to set up a screen going the other way, and it's going to be intercepted. Rodriguez with one hand. Let's see if we can take a look at this replay. Now we talk about film study, right? Watch Kovar recognize that number seven is going to go to the flat. That's Dominic. He almost, yeah, he does get a tip on the football. And then Rodriguez had studied it well. The two best defenders for Wasian coming up with a big play. My math is right as I take a look at my drive chart. That is turnover number four this half by the Blue Streaks. Now, if you told David Dominic before this football game that you're gonna turn over four times in the first half, but yeah, be up 14-7, he'd probably look at you like you're crazy. Well, he normally does that when you show up for practice anyways. <laughs> Indians have it at their own 45 with a minute 39 to go before halftime. And now we have a penalty flag as Archibald might have someone lined up in the neutral zone. That was the old late to snap your hand down offensive line on the hut and entice to Archibald to jump offside. Move the ball to midfield. Those quarterbacks, they can be kind of dirty sometimes like that. Go hot, then hot! Of course you're going to make me jump. Indians like the streaks of two timeouts left. Parsons looking to throw. She must try to step up. Fires has a man open. Pass is caught at the 40-yard line. As Levi Tester able to haul that in. Clock will stop momentarily as they're going to mark Tester maybe inside the 40. They will to the 39. That really good pocket awareness by Parsons sliding up. Didn't try to bail. Trusted his protection. Gave him some time to find his receiver, Tester. Pick up 11. Carson said, Archibald nearly jumped again. Rolls out to the near side. And this time he's going to keep this one. He's able to get out of bounds at about the 35. And the Wyatt Ripke, number 53 for Archibald, is looking at the white hat official. And he's asking him, what do you have to do to get a holding penalty? Because I got grabbed on the shoulder and taken to the ground. 
You know what I used to tell my defense alignment? Why are you letting yourself get held? You see it right there, top of the screen. And a little bit of a creative blocking by Ooh, Wasian yeah. right there. And don't let yourself get held. That's what I always told them. You better keep moving your feet so you don't get held. What I liked about that is Ripke fell down, took two offensive players with him, had the lineman and friend who was out to block. Well, it took two to hold him. <laughs> Scramble goes for four, second and six. Parsons under pressure once again, steps up, stays in bounds. This one's going to be incomplete as contact comes, trying to make the catch was a Wyatt Smith. Oh, well, that was a dangerous throw. A little bit high. Smith almost able to come down with it. Had the big touchdown in the first half on the vertical route. But he took a shot by Chase Miller. Chase Miller could have broke his ribs. You know, Wyatt Smith, the younger brother of uh, Sam Smith, Receiver here for Wasian, now playing at the University of Toledo. Boy, I just loved watching when they try to throw vertical to him, right? What was he, about 6'4", could run like the wind? Mm-hmm. Now it looks like the Indians are going to use one of their timeouts here. Actually, they're having an equipment issue with uh, Braylon Miller, so they want to keep Miller on the field. So it'll be... Third and six after the incomplete pass here. 101 left to go before halftime as the Indians will have one timeout as they look to try to tie this up before halftime. Well, that's all I really need is one timeout with 101 left. You can still use everything in your playbook, throw to the middle of the field, and of course in high school on a first down, the clock will stop mm -hmm. for you to help you out. Got to come up with something here, though, if you're Wasian, don't you? You had that first and goal from the three where you got nothing. Your defense gives you another mm -hmm. midfield turnover with about two minutes left. I just feel like you're not going to get these opportunities over and over in this football game. Uh, same thing happened. Uh, the lone loss for the Indians came against Patrick Henry here uh, two weeks ago as uh, the Indians had, I believe, an interception and a fumble recovery near midfield. Couldn't turn either one of them into points. Led 14-8 uh, at the half. It felt like should have been about 28-8 in the game they could have put away. Patrick Henry able to uh, come back in the second half. Grabbed the lead, and the Indians made it close. Had an onside kick and a chance, but a late interception hurt them. What ended up being a 30-24 uh, to 24 game. Parsons under pressure has to get rid of it quickly. He's got Friend on the screen. Friend's got four blockers in front of him, and he's able to get it all the way down to about the 18-yard line. A really good call, right? Look at all those five white jerseys. Oregon tries to read it, but he's just not going to have the speed to catch Friend. Look at all the blocking in front. Unfortunately, he tries to cut outside and trips over one of his own offensive linemen. That was a Tate Wise that got in the way a little bit after getting a good block. A gain of 17. Parsons looking for the end zone. Now it's to reverse field. He's going to throw this one away. Pass is incomplete. Wow, I'm sure the Archbold coaches over there are just yelling, hold, hold, hold. Another creative block inside. Throw away stops the clock here. 31 seconds to go. You see second and 10 coming up from the 18-yard line. And still one timeout for Wasi on lots of time. 31 seconds. You don't have to throw into the end zone yet, but you get this close, you got to at least take a shot at some point in time. Three receivers lined up to the far side. Parsons, however, comes the opposite way, and that one's going to be dropped. Second time Rodriguez had one in his hands. Can't hang on to it. Yeah, really cool what Jack Downey over there for Archibald is doing. It had Stephen Diller up at the line scrimmage. Looked like he was going to come on a blitz, and then the last second bailed out, and Miller jammed at Rodriguez. So he had safety help over top. It made it difficult. They're spending a lot of attention, rightfully so, to Tyson Rodriguez. Third down uh, for the Indians, down to 27 seconds to go before halftime. Now it is the Blue Streaks who want to use one of their two remaining timeouts. Let's take a look at what uh, Wasian put on the field offensively, trying to match that. Yeah, it's the old basketball philosophy, right? 
You call the timeout, see what the set is going to be for that last shot. You can go over and talk to your guys, say, hey, this is what they like to do out of it. Beware of this. And if I'm Archibald too, I am telling one of my defensive linemen, screen, 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 because they have run the screen successfully against us. Both teams deep in the conversation with their coaches and taking a look at uh, the computer points. And again, using the uh, Fantastic 50, both teams are essentially locks for the playoffs here. Something you want to point out, partner? Yeah, you always want to watch the offensive huddle, right? Especially at the end where they break the huddle and if the coach spends a little bit extra time with a receiver, with a quarterback, usually the ball is going to go yeah. there. Especially a running back if he takes off his glove. You know, oh, it's going to be halfback pass right here. Something unique. It's third and ten coming up here. Man goes in motion for the Indians. Parsons gets the low snap. Looked at the man in motion. Going to try to step up, and he's going to go down at the 25-yard line. That's going to be Wyatt Ripke who said, you've been holding me all night, but I'm just going to full rush you right here, and I'm going to dip in through B-gap and come get the quarterback. Oh, Wyatt Ripke. He is a big play machine for this Archbold defense. Does a great job. Sack number five on the year for him. And looks like another timeout. It's now looking at fourth down. Well, this is easy if, if you're Archbold. You put all seven eyes, you rush forward, you put all seven eyes staring at the quarterback. Don't play man here, play zone, play off. So all guys can see where the football is going. Allow your front four to rush to the quarterback. Keep them in the pocket. Everybody can run and rally up on the football because you know where this throw is going, right? I was going to say, it is, uh, it's fourth and 17. So Wasion can get a first down, but with just 14 seconds, no timeouts, essentially, you're looking at fourth and goal here. Yeah, I'd be shocked if this is in anything in the, except for into the end zone. Maybe you try something. Can you get to the sideline, maybe get out of bounds? Maybe. Well, if you get the first down, the clock is going to stop. But you're going to have to Still really gotta, hustle you up hurt. and spike yeah, you it. Gotta. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I think this is going into the end zone. Right. With the weather Four conditions, down, I don't think a field goal of 42, 43 yards is an option. That's still within Rodriguez's range, but the Indians are going to go for it. And they brought in Xavier Molina, number 15, going five wide. Parsons. Under pressure, and all he can do is take the sack. Knew it immediately, didn't want to give up the football. As Hurst, one of the first ones there, untouched off the end. But about three players all meet right in the middle. Yeah, Ripke was there as well. They brought Hurst on what's called a cowboy blitz. Inside linebacker coming through C-gap, looped all the way around. A great job getting to the quarterback. We saw the same blitz when they ran against Patch or St. Henry early in the year. Mm -hmm. Harassed St. Henry a great deal. Hurst comes up big again. It's a loss of 10, and I think Archibald is content with the 14-7 uh, lead, and they're going to take a knee here. And we are going to head to halftime with Archibald up by one touchdown. Oh, entertaining one so far, partner. Yeah, not the cleanest game, right? But pretty exciting, pretty entertaining. A lot of big plays, and I have a feeling we're going to have one of those games that comes down to late to the fourth quarter. A 14-7 Archibald, the lead over Wasion at the half. We'll take a break. We'll have the second half for you when we return here on WOSAD. Halftime here from uh, Wasion where the Indians trail Archibald 14 to seven as the streaks look to add on to their uh, six consecutive wins uh, over the Indians in this a uh, long time rivalry with Miles Halliday. I'm Randy Roberts and partner. It's uh, I guess a story of what could have been for both of these teams really Archibald turns it over four times. The Indians unable to take advantage, and here we are, 14-7 streaks. Yeah, and how many times you turn it over four times, right, but you still lead at half? So, you know, you did the worst possible thing you could do in the first half, and you still had the lead. If you're David Dominic at halftime, you go in and tell the guys, let's hold on to the football, right? Let's hold on to it, squeeze it. It's the hopes and dreams of our community. Let's <laughs> hold on to that thing. And, and if you're Wasion and you're Sean Moore, you go in and you tell the guys, look, fellas, don't let, him, let them get another one from us. You know, you've been out playing them. 
Let's just be mm -hmm. smart about it. They're really going to lament the times that they were in the red zone. Came up with nothing if they lose this football game. Yeah, two fumbles, two interceptions uh, by Archibald. Has uh, really going to put themselves back. But uh, after the first fumble, Wasian lost it on downs. Archibald then able to force a punt after throwing an interception. Teams then traded touchdowns. Then after a fumble, uh, Archibald blocks a field goal try when Wasian was uh, inside the red zone. And then Wasian throws an interception as well. Chase Miller with a couple of touchdown catches. Yeah, and that's where we're at. You know, Chase Miller been a big play machine for Archibald all year. A couple big plays in his first half, right? The big play machine for Wasian, Tyson Rodriguez, really has not got himself started yet. They're going to they have to get him uh, some opportunities. He really had a touchdown, at, but the throw behind him a little bit dropped it, and then they missed a field goal after that. This game might be knotted up. But for Rodriguez, though, he's too good of a player not to leave his mark on this game going forward. Indians will get the football to begin the uh, second half, as it looks like. Teams are on the field. The officials uh, huddling together. Might possibly be for warmth. I had to uh, leave the press box for a few moments. And uh, I have to tell you, sure, it is cold. It is, yeah. It's cold and it's wet. Cold and wet. Not, not a good co combo for someone that's sitting in the stands. But as a football player, you love to play these games. And both teams do, that is for sure. Well, let me say this. If you're a lineman or an interior seven defensive guy, you love Yeah, if you're a receiver standing yeah. out there one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. not getting the ball thrown to you, you hate this. Yeah, those small number guys, they, they tend to like warm days. So you see the official joking around with uh, Archibald players, showing how he's trying to stay warm. If I continue to move, I will not get cold. I'm sure that's what he's saying. So Lance Ramirez, who had been uh, taking off extra point duty, on for the kickoff here. Yeah, we've seen him kick off early in the year. He's really good at putting it in that right-hand corner. That left foot, and he's going to do it just now. This one rolls out just shy of the goal line. Kickoff goes out of bounds. Uh, Braylon Miller, it was living uh, dangerously yeah. there, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, he was uh, very happy to see that ball roll out because if it would have died there, oh, would have been catastrophic for Wasian. So the Indians, after the penalty, will get this one. Uh, they're, now they're huddling as if they're going to get it at the 20, but this should come out to about the 35. Yeah, I think they're going to Yeah, they're, it they're moving now. They realize that it wasn't a touchback. It was the uh, illegal kick out of bounds, so... Yeah, the official at the 35 was like, hey, fellas, yeah. come over here. Wasion doing the customary breaking of the huddle, then sprinting 15 yards. <laughs> well, at least the quarterback doesn't run to the sideline to get to play, right? It always bothers me when coaches have the kid do that. The kid's going to run a marathon by the end of a Friday night. Well, Rodriguez is going to go in motion as we begin the second half. Handoff's going to go to Friend trying to uh, – Run the stretch play, but that one read well. Jack Hurst up and makes the stop in the backfield for the Blue Streaks. Oh, boy. Foreshadowing what I saw Tuesday at practice. David Dominic, who, who coaches the linebackers and is the head football coach, he was working with linebackers, and he was, we're going to drill. If a guard pulls and he sees da daylight, go ahead and attack that daylight and make the play in the backfield. Oh, great coaching and great execution by Hurst to make the tackle for loss. Loss of four sets up second and 14. Parsons looking to throw, goes to the far sideline, pass is caught. Unfortunately, Braylon Miller not quite able to just stick a foot in the ground and cut up field to make a wide turn. When he did, he was tackled, so it's going to go for a short gain. Now, it's okay if receiver catches a short route, as long as you get him to the ground. And Chase Miller, he had some tight coverage. Makes a quick tackle for loss, or quick tackle after a gain. Uh, got a little sidetracked. You saw the Wasion offensive lineman flip-flopping right there on your screen. They do that when they want to get the guys in the right positions for the play that they want to run. And they're going to pick up five on the pass play. It's going to bring up a third and nine from the 36. Arch will look like they're bringing some pressure, brings everyone back. His throw down the sideline is incomplete. Wyatt Smith had stopped his route, and the pass went about 10 yards beyond him. Yeah, and you, it's going to bring a fourth down. You wonder why Wyatt slowed down. He's going to go over and talk to his quarterback, Parsons, and say, my bad, dude, my bad. Yeah, your receiver, I'm throwing vertical. Keep running. 
you wonder if he just got knocked out of bounds and didn't think he could catch it, but that was a big play for him in the first half, tried to dial it up. Smith, unfortunately, throttles down. So Rodriguez on to punt. Archwell has a pair of uh, return men standing back at their own 30-yard line. Rodriguez get a running start. This one hung up high in the air. And the wind just kind of catches that one, blows it out of bounds. And we are going to mark this on the Indian side of the field at about the 48-yard line. Well, with the wind blowing in your face, last thing you want to do is put it up high because it's not going to go anywhere. You talk to your punters about kicking it low and behind the football so you can get a line drive and then maybe get it to skip after that when you have the wind in your face. So Archwell, great field position. The Wasion side of the field here. Ten and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter on our State Bank scoreboard. Handoff on first down. Lucas Dominic, Dominic into the secondary, continues to go forward. Ball came out at the end of the play. Official says that it was ground cause, so the streaks will hold on to it. Well, take a look at it right here. A little toss to Dominic. He's going to make one guy miss right there and then get vertical. Oh, Xavier Martin, I thought he had him. Boy, and Lucas Dominic, when he puts that foot in the ground, he can get vertical in a hurry. Oh, was the knee down right there? That was a tough call. Wasian came up with it, but unfortunately, for them, the officials are going to say it stays with Archibald. It's going to be a gain of 17 on the run. It's a first down to the 31-yard line. Now here's Josiah Gomez able to cut up field. Gets to the outside, still on his feet. He's able to, to stop and move forward. One of the few times we've seen someone not lose their feet. That have been another big gain for the Blue Streaks. There's that counter again. This time it's going to be Siegel getting enough of the chip. And then Hurst pulls around, nobody there. And how about the work by Gomez to get free from Wyatt Smith? Power and a little bit of shiftiness, good combination for Gogo -Go Gomez. 23 yards will give the streaks a first and goal at the eight yard line. See Hurst now back in at quarterback. Hurst, it's a snap beyond him. Able to move forward and he's gonna be in for the blue streak touchdown. Oh boy, the caravan in front of Hurst was impressive. Watch the push. He is not going to be contacted till about the four yard line. And an arm tackle is never going to bring down Jack Hurst as he drags red jerseys in the end zone. He says, I'm a thick dude. You can't arm tackle me. Rudy Roger on to attempt the extra point as the streaks now make this 20 to 7. As the extra point on its way, and a kick well, is good. Is good. So Archibald able to force a punt. They get a quick score now, 21-7. Archibald in front of their rivals. We'll take a break here on WOSM. Twenty-one-seven. Archibald will lead over Wasion on our State Bank scoreboard. Contact the State Bank. For all of your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ramirez is on for the kickoff. He's going to angle this one more towards the numbers, make sure it stays in play. It's also going to allow a good return here for the Indians. Braylon Miller able to break free, and he's going to get out near the 40-yard line. This is a great individual effort by Braylon Miller because it looked like he was going to get tackled at about the 10 or 15 yard line. Made a guy miss. So what you want to do is a returner, right? Make the first guy miss and then get vertical. Goes from a terrible starting position to not so bad because Braylon Miller's effort. Officially, it looks like the Indians are going to start this at their 38. And a runner on the sideline right there. So you know it's going to be. One of those situations where he's going to stay warm, ready to go again and hand it off because that run game for Archbold has been chewing up some yards. Parsons, meanwhile, for Wasion in a shotgun. Looking to throw. And now late flag after everyone took off. False start against the Indians. And we'll get a false start. First down, 15. Looks like the... Problem was Landon Thurot that moved early. Usually if you're the lineman and you put your hands up looking at the sideline like, Coach, it wasn't me. 
Uh, you're the guilty party. Thorough. Randy helping me out with the pronunciation. <laughs> oh, and Thorough. And more whistles. I is that the French pronunciation? How yes. You? Okay. All right. The, the language of love. Thorough. Of course, you remember his uh, brother, Henry David. <laughs> Sure, what the hold up? Oh, we have a oh, we had a relacing of the cleat on the field. That was the reason for the hold up. Got to have shoes at work. All right. Normally, you'd send a player off, but the officials being a little lenient here. So, about we start with a first and fifteen for the Indians. Parsons setting up that middle screen, gets it into Friend. Friend's got some blockers oh, in front of him. A long way to go down that sideline. Still trucking, still on his feet. It looks like he's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. There's a flag down, though. I wonder if it's going to be a legal man downfield because let's see where he catches it. Is he behind the line of scrimmage? If you're going to reach your lineman up, he has to be behind the line of scrimmage. Boy, he looked like right, he was right, right at, at it. it. Yeah, yeah, right at it. Now, I'm not sure I call that one. That's a, oh, they're going to call a hold instead. So the Indians will be backed up even further. So a holding call makes what was already long now even longer. I think they're going to call it from the spot of the foul, though. So well, it might make out OK. Yeah, it's going to just be first down and 10 again. But still, it negates an unbelievable play call by Sean Moore, the head football coach and play caller here at Wasion, and, and a great execution. Friend has been a big play machine for Wasion tonight. So the downfield hold is 10 yards at the spot. So first and 10. Parsons from his back foot looking to throw. And Rodriguez is going to get a little help on the catch, and he's going to get into the end zone. Well, it's been the best play all night long for Wasion in the pass game. You go deep, I'll throw it as far as I can. Parsons does a really good job of looking to his right and then comes back, lets it fly. And ooh, Michael Irvin. Made an appearance right there. A little bit of creative separation by Rodriguez. And that is OK, because he's going to style and profile his way into the end zone. 62 yards for the catch. Now Rodriguez will have to come on and attempt the extra point. So he'll score the touchdown. And he'll add the extra point as well. So now 21-14. Wasiad able to come right back. They do it quickly. Officially a one-play drive after the penalty, and we'll take a break here in WOSF. Twenty-one fourteen, Archibald with a lead over Wasian. So if you remember that uh, slog that we had, that opening quarter partner, it's kind of uh, picked up here. Hey, you remember being a kid and playing in the backyard, and he's like, "Let's run the bomb. You go as far as you can. I'm gonna throw as far as I can." Uh, little squib kick this time, fielded at about the twenty-eight yard line. Chase Miller, Miller able to turn the corner. Miller's got a kickoff return score. As Archibald has two of them this year. Return's going to come out to the 40-ish. Oh, now the officials starting to walk back. See where they mark this at. And Archibald's going to have good field position. Let's really think you're, you're dining on danger there when you go ahead and kick it to you're Miller. You're not snacking. No, you're just straight dining. You are dining on danger, letting Miller or hers return to football in the return game. Just too deadly with it. It'll be the uh, 42 for the Blue Streaks here. Eight. 36 to go, third quarter. State Bank scoreboard. Here is Dominic, first down run, able to cyclone his way forward. A little spin Rooney, right? Good job by Ty Davis. We called his name a couple of times for that Wasion defense. He was the first one to contact Dominic. And if Wasion can be a little bit tougher on first down runs, go a long way for them. Picked up two on that run for Archibald. It's going to bring up second and eight. Ball just shy of the 45-yard line. You can see there on your screen. There's Brenner splitting out. First lines up at quarterback. Straight run for him ahead. And it's going to take a couple yards. But finally brought down from behind. Logan Patterson. We'll see where Patterson first grabs the jersey. 
So at about the 45, and Hurst able to fight forward to about the 47. Uh, Patterson, one of those defensive linemen that pursuit to the football extremely well. About the third time in this game, he's made a tackle chasing from behind. Brings up third and five for the streaks. My God, get off the field here if you're Wasian. You got momentum. Give your offense good field position. See a bunch formation on the right side. They're going to throw middle of the field just enough for the first down. Good effort making the catch there is Chase Miller. A third and five, what an NFL concept that was. You run to clear out, a little out, then come back under with Hurst. The vacated spot it is a zone beater and a man beater because of the concepts that cleared out for the under route. Pickup goes for seven when they needed five. Moves the sticks for Archbold. Sent a single receiver each way. Wasian comes up to the line, and it looks like they've baited Archibald into jumping early. Saw that the other way earlier. I always wonder why quarterbacks wait so long, right? If you're not bringing motion, you already know what the coverage is, and it's going to be a run play, why are you waiting? Let your offensive linemen come off the football. All, all, all offensive linemen will tell you they want to get up to the ball if it's going to be a run play, and we're going to explode off the football. You make them wait and wait and wait. That's awfully tough to do. That's a lot of wait to sit there and wait. So you're waiting just to wait. That's right. You at like a car dealership getting your car <laughs> service? What's going to take to put you in this offensive line position? Hurst trying to go forward. Wasian able to read that one's going to stop him for no gain. He's met by Patterson. And Terry Lind, the defensive coordinator for Wasian, doing a better job of taking away A and B gap runs early in the second half. Second Saw in the first 15. half that Archbold was victimizing them, running that counter where they're blocking down and kicking out. Doing a better job of holding their water up front. Same Terry Lynn that's an online bully. Is he? It was never, we'll, we'll tell it later. All right. <laughs> well, Wasian's going to run right past the pressure. That was a, a long developing rush. It's Patterson looked like he just kind of ran right by Brenner. Now Logan Patterson. Didn't break down, good job getting the penetration, kind of forced Brenner to move up in the huddle, or in the, in the pocket, and then throw it out of bounds. And there's some cold, young people. Is it construction day there? It might be or? neon out. I don't Is know if it's one? neon or construction, but Archibald, or uh, Miles had visited practice for Wasion the other day. So Dominic's gonna run here. Run the safe play on third down, get back into Wasion territory. On uh, social media, Miles talked about his trip to Arch to uh, I'm sorry to Wasion practice. Back to Terry Lynn and uh, Coach Lynn, a guy I've known since his playing days here at Wasion. All right, said something about making sure you keep the mayor in check. <laughs> online bullying, <laughs> if is, I've ever seen it. It sure is online bullying. Dare he? Well, I, I wish we had a dollar for every time someone walked by the press box and yelled your name tonight. We could pay for dinner. <laughs> it absolutely would. Someone's going to come by and do it right now. I think they heard us. But Ripke looked like he was going to run the fake. This one's going to take a bounce, and it's going to be a lucky break for the Indians as that's going to hop and skip its way into the end zone for a touchback. All right, so let's talk about footballs in rainy conditions, all right? And if you're a football coach, you are always paranoid about the rain, any type of bad weather. So if you know there's going to be any type of bad weather, you check as many footballs as you can with the official to say, hey, can we have 10 game balls? Yeah, I'll take as many. Sometimes the officials say, no, Coach, we're only going to let you have eight. And you keep about half of them at half in the locker room because you want them to be dry in the second half, and then you bring them back out. And then if you're going to throw the ball vertical, you do it early because that's when a dry football is in play. That's kind of what we keep waiting for out of Wasian. You expect them to throw this one downfield knowing they're going to get a dry football in first down. Try to do it. Quick out. That passes. Caught when nearly dropped. Wyatt Smith juggled it a little bit and ends up getting a couple of yards. He caught it twice and then it comes out at the end. Archibald was saying it was, I don't see it right there. Caught twice. A good block on the perimeter. Juarez comes up. Yeah, clearly yeah, ground. Tried, tried to, yeah, tried to, stre uh, to, to stretch out. Easy for me to say. Yeah, kind of like you in yoga, right? When you're in doing yoga, you stretch, stretch out. out. You saw the water from the field bounce up, though, with his reach. Smith ends up getting a four. It's going to bring up second and six. Parsons 
Wow. Under pressure, long throw as Braylon Miller was kind of left open, or if they knew they weren't going to throw to him, there wasn't anyone around him. Miller nearly ran back to catch that. I'll tell you what Miller did, though. Coming back to his quarterback, scrambling out of the pocket, he saved a intentional grounding. Yes, he did. Yeah, if he, he was 10, 15 yards upfield, and his quarterback Parsons throws it to the sideline, there's no one around. That's another big penalty. It's now uh, third and six coming up for the Indians. This is a long delay as they look at the sideline getting a play, and I think they're going to have to call a timeout. And the play clock had rolled Wasian. under 10. Wasian with a timeout will take one as well. They're going to have a third down coming up when we return. Third down coming up here for the Indians. Third and six back to their own 24-yard line. A late uh, run on Kovar going in. He's going to be at the slot as they brought Molina off. Looks like zone by Archbold. Parsons rolling out to the near side, waiting for someone. Fires this one. Pass is going to be caught. And the Indians will have the... First down is Tester able to cut across and make the catch. There you see Tester coming out to the flat. A really good job by Kovar right there, getting a block on Ripke to get his quarterback free. Pretty good feet by Parsons. You mentioned earlier in the game, not a great runner, but he has been elusive enough to get himself some space and time to throw the football. I picked up 13 on the pass play. Not that he can't run, just not a, a lot designed for him. A guy that would rather sling the football all over the yard. Handoff is going to go to Friend here, trying to bounce off one would-be tackler. Nothing where he originally wanted to go, and Josiah Gomez, one of the first ones in there to make the stop for the streaks. Well, the problem, Mason Siegel all night long. He just pinches down and blows up the lead block. Nowhere for that run game to go for Wasian. You know, we want to win on first down. You don't want to lose two yards. It's tough enough to move the football in these conditions but being behind the sticks all second half going to be difficult for Wasian. Yeah, loss of two on that run brings up second and 12. Parsons again in a shotgun. Looking to throw under some pressure. Still looking, fires, and that one is going to be... It was caught by a streak. Whether or not they were in bounds, I do not believe so. As Evan went, you can see right here, another good pressure by Seagull is being held. <laughs> that's, that's rough. Parsons again running for his life. And here's going to be the throw right here. Does Went get down? Cuts off the route. Yeah, nice, like clearly out of bounds. Yeah, back hits as he tries to slide and make the grab. It's an incomplete pass. is going to bring him third and 12. Indians trying to get set offensively. Once again, everyone looks at those uh, play cards on their wrist. Three receivers of that far side. Parsons looking to throw, feels the pressure from behind. Again looking, fires this one incomplete. Tried to force it into Tester and end up one hopping him. No, it was a great job by one hopping it because had he thrown that on a line to Tester, you know what's happening right now? It's going the other way. Yeah, Steven Diller celebrating in the end zone. He had a clear path, kind of baited the quarterback there. A smart move by Parsons, just grounding in the ground. Nowhere to go with the football. And that's a young man. He's going to be tired. To think how many steps he's got in tonight just avoiding that Archibald pass rush. Rodriguez on to punt. Takes the low snap, gets rid of this one in a hurry. It might be the best one of the night he's had. Back to the 32-yard line for Miller. Miller trying to get the face mask. Flag comes in. Multiple flags. Still a little pushing and shoving going on on the sideline. Is Miller a little slow to get up right in front of us? I think they're going to get Albright. A good job right there getting to the sideline. He's clearly out. And then Albright gives him the little left forearm shove. And a little bit dangerous as Miller is close to the bench. Do have the 15 yard walk off coming against Wasian. Yeah, it's going to be a huge difference in field position. Another unforced error by Wasian. Tough enough to win football games. More tough when you're hurting yourself all the time. 
Feels tennis, you see what unforced error. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that means uh, Archibald will start Wasi on territory again on the 46 yard line. Exactly three minutes left to go in the third quarter on our State Bank scoreboard. Head over to the concession stand on the Wasi outside. Two receivers to the far side, one receiver to the near side. Brenner will have Dominic with him in the backfield. Brenner saw something, barked it up to his offensive line. And now, flag coming in on the uh, far side. Looks like someone from Wasion lined up offside. So Wasion's now giving away their 20th yard in penalties before a play has even been snapped just on this drive. And Terry Lynn looking at his guys like, look, fellas, let's just keep them in front during football plays. Stop giving up yardage during dead ball situations. Archwell moves up to the Wasion 41. Right, or I'm sorry, uh, Dominic gets the handoff. Dominic, Dominic working that right side. Stutter step trying to find somewhere to go. Works his way to about the 38. Ty Davis, the defensive Second end for Wasion. Tired of seeing Mason Seagull, Seagull on it. the trap. And he just, just kind of Mason Seagal, Peter Seagal, <laughs> any Steven Seagal. No, he he, he hip tossed him like in pro wrestling to get him off of him. So much rain, he's probably seeing seagulls. <laughs> Second and two after the three yard run, Dominic again Dominic will carry an Indian defender with him as the pile continues to pile up. Brenner runs in trying to plead the official about a call. They're going to be a counselor someday, right? Come up and litigate with the Logan official. Patterson. That's Logan Patterson yet again Come having a great run. game for Wasion defensively. Pick up a one on the run that brings up a third and one. Hurst in at quarterback. Have a rough idea what we might see right here. Hurst that left side. Nearly tripped but still is able to come forward and got about two when he needed the one. He gets the benefit of a little bit of hold inside by Gomez. And then I think the extra lurch inside with the football is going to get the first down. So they will give him enough to about the 36. So got the yard he needed. It's a fresh set of downs for the streaks. We're down under a minute and a half to go third quarter. Brenner, that quick pitch again to Dominic, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, able to beat his first man, and is able to cut up field and Dominic get to about the 32. Ball. Xavier Martin had it read correctly. Had it one-on-one -on -one with Dominic, but lost his footing, or else it would have been a tackle for loss. And Dominic, I'm not sure what he's wearing for cleats, but he picked the right ones. He has been able to plant and get vertical all night long. Gain of three on the run is going to bring up second and seven. Look at that guy holding the number two. He looks excited, doesn't he? The guys looked a little cold. They came up here in the press box, had a slice of pizza. A couple of Wasian defenders earned themselves a slice of pizza there. Kovar, a part of three to make a big stop. We were talking to the guys on the sideline in pregame. What's it take to get a tomahawk sticker or the decal on the helmet? You see some guys, well, they are just covered in tomahawks. And the guys basically said, well, if you make a big play. Well, that certainly makes sense, doesn't it? And I think you might get a tomahawk right there. Look at all those decals. It might have credit, credited Dominic for a gain of about a yard. It's going to be third and six. And I believe this next play is going to be the first play of the fourth quarter. Archibald in no hurry to snap the ball. So the final seconds of the quarter appear to want to run off. And they, in fact, will. So we are through. Three quarters of action, 21-14 Archibald, and we'll have the fourth quarter right after this. Twenty-one fourteen Archibald with lead over Wasian as we head to the fourth quarter. Is the I want to say neon out? I think we talked about. I see some construction vests. Well, there. They're, they're all neon, but there's some non-construction neon, ah, which yeah, makes me think that. that. I, I, so these aren't the people that are working on our roads? Probably not. Well, no one's working on the road in the rain. That's a good point. 
So since they're not working, they, they stopped on by, they saw the lights, came on by. <laughs> Construction workers get in free night. Third and six, here the third down bell going off. Brenner looking to throw, Wobbler for Hurst. He's gonna turn around, catch it, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Jack Hurst, who had a couple big opportunities against Liberty Center, that squirted out of his hands. Not this time. Got to be a seven route. Look at the protection for Brenner. Just going to get away from the safety and right between the corner, the dead spot. And that's a big time throw by Brenner, leading Hurst for a huge touchdown. Archbold taking command. So they will open up the fourth quarter with a big score. Rudy Roger on to attempt the extra point. He's been perfect tonight, and he'll add to that. Streaks. He will add to it. 28-14, up by two scores. We'll take a break here in WOSN. She looks like she's having a good time tonight. She sure does. Oh, she's cold. See, that's what she's saying. And is that a peace sign? I, I think so. That's fantastic. Sam does a great job getting our replays. And uh, we have Curtis on the wide shot. There's Curtis's camera right there. Curtis uh, up on the roof. A little, bit a little bit of protection from the weather up there. Kickoff's going to hit at the 20 where it's going to be fielded by Kovar. Kovar able to cut up field. Kovar returns Saw someone to try to uh, take a big tomahawk chop at the football. Kovar able to hang on to it. Kovar looking at somebody well, take this football Hillman. from me, will you? Looking for an official. Yeah, tell me that guy doesn't spend some time in the weight room. Look at those biceps on number 10 right there. Looking like a young Randy Roberts showing the guns. Very young. Very, very young. He's a guy that somebody should grab up. I, I love the way he plays football with an intense manner. Some uh, some school. Thought you're still the talking next about. Level. I thought you were talking about Randy Roberts there. For yeah, you were something for was it Lions Red Team I, back I in was, the day? I was I was something. You were correct. I was something. Indians start this drive of their own 39. Need two scores. Have the whole fourth quarter here. Oh, trickeration. Fake one way, go the other with Kovar. That read well by Archibald. Looks like that's going to go for a loss of a yard. Any kind of time you run a trick, you need to block people. Nobody blocked Wyatt Ripke that time. Wyatt Ripke, great job settling down, playing his defensive end spot. Action goes away. Don't believe it. It's going to come back to you. Second and 11 coming up from the 38-yard line. Parsons gets a snap. He's got two receivers in the block. We're throwing this one downfield. Rodriguez bracketed, had a single coverage, a safety over there as well as the pass is incomplete. Yeah, if you're an Ohio State fan and you watch that, Notre Dame said, well, why didn't Marvin Harrison get a lot, of more, lot more touches in the pass game? Well, it's because Notre Dame bracketed him, right? They'd have a safety and a, a man underneath, and so it's really two on one, and you've seen that quite a bit tonight. Uh, by this Archibald uh, secondary. They're going to say, someone's going to beat us in the passing game, but it's not going to be number nine. If you look up Grizzly Old Coach in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of the guy we just showed you, Coach Peterson. Parsons under pressure is going to throw that in the Archibald bench. It's not going to make it back to the line of scrimmage. Officials are going to say, oh, they're going to get together here. Yeah, Archibald th he thinks it's intentional grounding. He's out of the tackle box, but... Ball didn't make it back. Fisher's still going to talk. They're going to talk, and there is the flag. Oh, did he signal right? Potential grind. Two hands across the body. This is one with the one karate chop. Siegel, number 70. Yet again, harassing Parsons. Throws it towards the sideline. Oh, come on, son. You got to catch that. Right there on the sideline, right in your chest. Now, it's not going to matter the down, but the yardage is going to cost big with 10.58, down by two scores. You've got to have some field position to your advantage. Still going to put you in a punting situation. <clears throat> yeah, the officials uh, still having some trouble, I think, trying to figure out where uh, exactly to spot it. So it is the 
Spot of the foul penalty, so it's where Parsons rolled back and let go. The problem is, I'm not sure if anyone's really paying attention. If only there was some sort of monitor that could show <laughs> a play back after it happens. Oh, I don't know if you want to get replay involved in high school football. They have one of the officials has to stop. They have to run up here, look at our monitor. <laughs> So Rodriguez will punt as it ends up being a 14-yard penalty. Hurst on the return, able to get to the 40, and he's going to drag a couple of defenders with him. I guarantee this, over on the Archibald sideline, when Hurst picks this ball up, they are paranoid because he had to tip it up in the air back to himself after he contacted the ground. But a smart move because he was able to get about 10 yards on the return. Looks like Jaden Polson, number 13 for Wasion. Just wanted to get the knees dirty, I think, so Mom had something to wash, because he went for a ride. Yeah, moms hate white pants, don't they? And the rain on top of it, so you just touch it and they get dirty. Mm, it's true. It's 10.45 left to go. Streaks are going to start this drive from their own 44. It's Dominic straight ahead. He's going to take on pressure and a nice big game there. Now, if you're going to run D-gap, you're going to pull a guard and a back around, an H-back, you better seal the edge. And Brody Bailey, boy, did he do a great job of sealing that edge to get Dominic vertical. Dominic gets 23 on that run. It's a first down for Archibald Dwasian, 33. Trying to put this one away. Still over 10 minutes left to go on our State Bank scoreboard. Dominic straight ahead will pick up about three more. And Dominic, one of those rare running backs in high school where you can press B gap, and if nothing's there, you can cut back bounce to A gap and get vertical in a hurry. You've got to be so disciplined as a defense, making sure you play inside hip of that running back if you're the back side. Second and a seven coming up here for the streaks. You keep running the football or you, you take a shot, go for the dagger. You just keep running it. Exactly what they're going to do here with Dominic. It's about everyone Dominic but plays. Dominic's found their way into the end zone. Dominic's going to get about five more. Now you keep running it because you're gashing it right at the time. It's five or more. I know David Dominic, we've coached him, or he's, we've seen so many games that he's coached. Some point in time on this drive, he's going to take a shot. Loves to go vertical. This next snap might come with around nine minutes left to go on our State Bank scoreboard, just a little bit over it. Turning to Hurst at quarterback on third and short. And it looks like Jack That's Hurst is going to have enough for the first down, so they will stop the clock momentarily. And Logan Patterson again for Wasian in the backfield. First one to arrive, but didn't get enough guys to rally up to the football. And it's going to take more than one guy to bring Jack Hurst down. He'll get a couple of yards to the 23. It's now under nine to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender. A stack in the box now. Wasian trying to get a negative play. There is the throw. Wasn't quite the throw downfield Miles was looking for. Brenner just got rid of that one. Wasian faithful wanted an intentional grounding. It was called against their quarterback. <laughs> you see Rodriguez talking to the back official. Why didn't you throw it against them? Wasian went man across the board. Zero coverage and brought pressure. You saw Kovar. That time it was picked up by Archbold. Incomplete pass, stops the clock with 8.28 to play. It's going to bring up second and 10. Now look at all the red jerseys within about eight yards of the line of scrimmage. And man running with it. High snap pulled down. It's going to allow Wasion to tighten up defensively as Patterson involved in yet another tackle of Dominic. Patterson and Dominic don't know each other. <laughs> I think they do by the end of tonight. Yeah, they sure will. I'm not sure they're going to exchange addresses for Christmas cards, but... Without a doubt. Are Chris, is that even a thing anymore? Is Christmas cards still a thing? I think so. All I get right. a few. Do you? I do. I'm shocked by that. 
Am I such a Grinch? No one sends me one. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> I thought your mailbox would be overflowing. That's what I mean. I just don't check it, so they stop bringing them. Third and nine coming up for the Blue Streaks. Runner's going to roll out. Got the backside open. Has a man. It's Miller. He's going to slide and make the grab for the touchdown. I uh, guess who again? Number 12, Chase Miller just chases us down. And Brunner gonna roll to the right. You see the backside, there's Miller, top of your screen. Gives them the old, hey, I'm open. And then he just throws it to the back part of the end zone and he slides and gets in, knee down. Celebration time for Archbold. Chase Miller adds a 22 yard TD reception. As they will, uh, officials are going to hold up the extra point attempt. Now, I think you don't chase fool's gold here, right? This you decline it and still kick the extra point. Penalty apparently against Wasion. Do you perhaps, can you take it on the kickoff? I think that might be what the discussion That's a was. better decision. And don't go for two and not get it and leave a little bit of door open. Well, Wasion has uh, the ability and have done so this year, score points in bunches. Oh, this official is really making sure that he is clear with that Archbold sideline. I'm going to double check and make sure, or maybe make sure the coaches stay on the sideline off the field. Whatever it is. It is offsides on Wasion on the extra point. Now they're going to try it again with Rudy Roger. A high snap. Extra point on its way. The kick is up. And the kick is good. That's why you put your quarterback there holding it, right? Goes up and gets it and puts it down. Great job by Cade Brenner. Getting it workable for... Rudy. Archibald with a big touchdown. They extend their lead and we'll take a break here in WOSN. Well, Chase Miller hauls in his third touchdown catch of the night, makes it 35 14. Archibald in front of Wasion as the streaks look to uh, extend this to seven in a row over their rivals. They'll also. Uh, maintain their possession of the Lions Club trophy. Traveling trophy that the two Lions Clubs and the two towns have with each other. Usually the mayors of the towns get involved, place a little bet. What do you, uh, you usually take, you take one to lunch? A Lions Club trophy, huh? I wonder if we could get Dan Campbell down here one year for that. Not those Lions. No. How about Dan Campbell, though? You wanted to have a real live Lion on the sideline uh, for uh, the Lions? Of course, the NFL said, eh, not a good idea, Dan. What if he gets loose? First of all, this isn't college. I feel like college may, like, if Colorado's allowed to have a Buffalo, if Bevo's allowed to be at Texas no, no. games. No, not a Buffalo. Tatanka. Tatanka. All right. If well, Toledo's allowed to have a live rocket, they can fire at Bowling Green anytime <laughs> they want. One of the little dances with wolves on you there, buddy. First down pass, that one caught middle of the field. And sliding down more than being tackled. It's Rodriguez with the uh, catch. Yeah, that's an under concept where you bring someone under to suck the linebackers up and then run a dig behind it. Made a lot of yardage over the years in that concept. Rodriguez that time catches it for positive yardage. And picked up eight, it's gonna be second and two. Clock rolling under seven to go on our state bank scoreboard. Indians behind the eight ball a little bit, need three touchdowns. Parsons looking to throw, long throw. And that one is going to be, did they rule it a catch? It looks like they did enough for the first down. Watch Tristan Wise show up late. Bring a backer blitz through B gap, the opposite way to the running back steps for protection. And he got himself a hit on the quarterback. I'd say that was good enough for a catch. Got the hands underneath it. What yeah, do you think? Miller might have got help. I think the thing might have been trapped by his face mask. 
Miller able to, Braylon Miller able to make the catch out to the 42, so we got five. Wasiat in the position, they got to throw on every down from here on out. Parsons trying to get out of pressure, is able to take off and run. Oh! He's going to supply a big hit as he gets to midfield. How about the quarterback? Usually they're guys that don't want contact. Uh-uh. No way. Take a look at Trey Parsons. However, yeah, it's going to be called back, and it's a shame for Wasiat because this is a great one-on-one. -on -one. Hello, Noah Gomez. Penalty is on the Indians to bring this one back. Sean Moore a little upset because he believe a hold called against his guys. Letting the official know, as Miles had pointed out through the night, that his defenders have been held on more than one occasion tonight. The correction, that was Josiah Gomez. It'd be kind of weird if Noah was out there still. And he'll be like, don't be hitting me, it's I'm a big, done. It's a big rivalry game, everyone's coming out. 50-year-old guys thinking they can play quarterback in this game still. <laughs> no, it's not 50 for... No, I'm just saying, no, they're, yeah. no, not not him. But There's some dads on both sides think they can still play. The officials trying to figure out where to spot this at. One official walking one way, one walking another way. I always, I always like asking old players, like, if you had to go today, how many how many plays could you give me? And they always like, I can give you half. I can give you three quarters again. No, you can give us, <laughs> you give give us, us one two. series. Yeah. And now it looks like Wasion successfully has gotten Archwell to jump, so Wasion able to gain some of the yards back. Something you don't usually see here week eight of the football season. Yeah, good point by you. We've had a lot of those tonight. It might be because guys are so keyed up in a rivalry game. Get that adrenaline going. First and 20 now, first and 15. Low snap for Parsons, rolling to the near side, loads up, fires this one. Rodriguez hauls it in. They're going to say it's a catch and a big game for the Indians. Wow, two things that are just fantastic. Look at the arm talent right here of, of the quarterback, Trey Parsons. Puts it where only. Tyson Rodriguez can catch it. Partner, he not only did he get one foot in, he got them both down. That was like Antonio Brown type of catch on the sideline. 29 yards on the reception. It's first down for Wasion down to the Archibald 34. Trey Parsons, his mobility is impressive. Like you said, a guy that used the mobility so he can throw the football. Single receiver each way. Doesn't like anything on the far side. Comes back to the near side. Pass is caught again, Rodriguez. Had a quiet game, but he's now uh, getting involved here in the fourth quarter. It looks like he's going to have another uh, first down. Yeah, look at all the tomahawks on his helmet. He's a guy that has big play potential and shows it off a great deal. You give him 10 yards there down to the 24-yard line. Indians trying to score quickly. They need three touchdowns, have just 5.35 to do it. And need touchdowns and a little bit of help, right? Gonna have to come up with an onside kick at some point in time. Parsons looking to throw once again, comes back middle of the field. Rodriguez with this one. Not sure if he slipped or if he gave himself up. Uh, you're gonna clear it out with Kovar. He's going to go to the flat, drag the defender. You see it right there, and that opens that window. It's the old curl flat combination. Rodriguez, minimal game and on the catch. Yeah, they're going to give him just a yard to the 23, so second and nine. Slip down in the field of play, so the clock runs. So one of those things where maybe if you're on, you'd rather see an incomplete pass there. Al Parsons looking for this one, the far side, diving effort. Made out there by Chase Miller. That's going to be incomplete. Parsons pass intended for Tyler Rodriguez is incomplete. It's just going to bring up third down. Well, being a four down situation from here on out for Wasian, you don't have to throw the ball to the sticks for the first down. You, know, you can get it close to the six and go for it on fourth down because kind of a luxury, right? Knowing that you have four downs from here on out. Everyone at Wasion looking over the sideline for the play. They'll get it. Play clock once again winding down. See if they can get this off in time. With one left on the clock, they get it. Throwback screen set up. 
this one Redwells, Braylon Miller just had nowhere to go as he's swallowed up by a handful of white jerseys. Well, you called a throwback screen, but somebody forgot to tell the offensive line that this was gonna be the tunnel screen throwback. There is nobody there to block for him. Chase Miller on the spot yet again. Miller tried to wrestle the football away as the play goes for a loss of three. Third and nine, turns into fourth and 12. Wasiano wants to make sure they have the right personnel on the field. Sean Moore wants to take a timeout, so while Wasiano talks about what they're going to do on fourth down, we'll step aside here in WOSN. Well, Wasian's uh, faint hopes might ride on this fourth down play here. Fourth and 12 coming up. They're at the Archman 26 yard line trying to uh, stay alive. And Jack Downey down up pressure. Parsons knew it was coming. It's right in his face and he's going to go down. Uh, how about that? Number 59, Eddie Yoder gets involved on the sack. Going to bring a backer blitz from the outside. Hurst comes as well. And Yoder, a young man that was injured early in the year, comes back, a little bit of redemption for him. Be a loss on fourth down, it's not gonna matter as Archibald's gonna take over. Wasion able to just stop the clock one more time. So we'll see the streaks, just try to get a couple of first downs run out this final 416 of the half of the game, I should say. So Archibald will take over at their own 34 with 416 to go. There's Dominic trying to get to the outside. He's able to get out across the 40 to about the 42. So he'll pick up about eight on the run. Second down two. Call it second and two. Next play will come with about three and a half minutes to go. So Archibald trying to string together about six plays, see if they can run off this final 340 and counting. Brenner in a shotgun has two backs with him. Hand off right back to Dominic, straight up the middle, across the 45. He'll have the first down as we get to the 46. So give him about four more. Archwell taking their time in no hurry with the big lead. Brenner in the shotgun once again, has to jump to get the snap, goes right back to Dominic. Dominic's gonna be pushed back Dominic's after he gets about a yard. So they'll mark him up to about the 47. See Brenner Kovar. able to come onto that. It's Kovar and Patterson. Been a part of and just about every stop defensively out of the Indians come up with one there. Indians making some changes defensively here. It's Archibald in a second and nine, looking for, I believe, just about one more first down to put this one away. Wasion showing some pressure. That will come in as the Archibald goes to Josiah Gomez. Gomez able to stretch this out. Working the right side, cuts up field. He'll be just shy of midfield, so he'll pick up a couple more. Good pursuit out of Wasian Rodriguez slides, tries to come up with a tackle. Third down seven. Ty Davis has been in a few stops in as well. Third and seven coming up for the Blue Streaks. Still in no hurry with the ball just shy of midfield. Brenner does have three receivers go to the far side. Trying to get Wasion to jump as he had, and timeout looks like control. the Streaks will have to use a timeout. 
Got Wasiana to jump a couple of times earlier. Thought that they could uh, better their chances there and make it a third more manageable. But uh, could not do it here. So if things hold on, Archibald is going to be well on their way to the win. We'll take a break here in WOSN. Third and seven coming up here for the uh, Archibald Blue Streaks. Lead this one as you see in our State Bank scoreboard, trying to seal this off with one more first down as they're going to go straight ahead. And it is going to be Lucas Dominic who's going to get that first down. Also slides out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. So give him 11 on the run. And that should just about do it for the Blue Streaks. They are going to line up in the victory formation. So I have to take just a couple of more snaps here. As they back up. Clock did begin to wind after setting the chains. And they'll put the ball down as Brenner will down it back at the 42. Looks like the officials are just going to spot this one more time. And that is uh, the only other time Archibald will have to snap the football. Second down and 12. Streak set. Brenner gets it, and he'll put the knee down. They'll run to the sideline, and that is going to do it. So the Archibald Blue Streaks will maintain the Alliance Club trophy, and they extend their win streak to Wasion to seven in a row. And more importantly, they will stay in the NWOAL championship hunt. More importantly, they'll place themselves in solid footing when the computer points get released as the Blue Streaks of Archibald get the 35-14 win tonight over the Wasion Indians. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll head down to the field as our Miles Holiday is going to uh, check in with our uh, Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. Well, the Archibald Blue Streaks uh, managed to uh, retain the Lions Club trophy as they get uh, the win over their rivals in Wasion, make it seven in a row. Part of the reason is uh, the play of Mason Siegel. He is our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner, and he's now down on the field with our Miles Holiday. Uh, there you go, Mason. There's your dynamic dude helmet, uh, Stolly Insurance Hustle player. Uh, you guys have dominated this rivalry. I don't think uh, you can ever remember a loss uh, since you've been alive, uh, seven straight years. And what does this rivalry mean to you guys at Archibald? I mean, it's huge. It's just like, it's crazy to think about. I mean, we've been performing for seven years against these guys and beating them. So every time we come out here, we just want to keep doing it. And I mean, every time it gets a little bit tougher and tougher, but hope to carry it on. I, I visited practice earlier in the week and Coach Peterson, your defensive line coach, I mean, he was intense all week long. What was the message from him? Because you guys really got after the quarterback. You made Parsons' life miserable. I mean, he just really kind of said hustle. I mean, it, all it takes on defense is a motor, and I mean, that's all we did. I mean, he, he nails it in all week. Stay low, go hard, and, and you'll do great things. So, yeah. One of the best run plays that you guys had on the line, and you ran it continuously, it was the counter play where you're, you're pulling and you're getting the kick out block. Uh, how fun is that when you see a defensive lineman not paying attention? I mean, it's great. It's like the best thing in the world. You get a clean as clock, and <laughs> I mean, then, and then you get up and celebrate with your teammate that just had a 20 yard run, and there's nothing better than seeing your running back all happy. We we're, were joking around upstairs that the skinny guys don't like this kind of weather, but offensive linemen, you love it, don't you? That's what we were talking about over there. We're like, we pray it rains. We pray it rains. I mean, we love this weather. Well, congratulations. Great night for you guys. Thank Keep you. it rolling forward. Hey, fun to see a lineman loving the mud, huh? Yeah, absolutely right, and uh, he said it best. The <laughs> guys just praying for it to keep raining so they're able to uh, work the football as the Blue Streaks are able to control the line of scrimmage, pick up a big win as, again, they will stay in the NWOAL hunt with the big win. We want to thank everyone who made our night possible here at Wasion. Starts with Matt Hutchinson, the great athletic director here at Wasion. Can't thank Curtis and Sam for braving the elements with the uh, work of their cameras, and, of course, Ken Reeker. 
has sat behind me all night, and I can hear him shouting out the directions, and he does uh, a great job each and every week. So it is another win for the Archwood Blue Streaks. They defeat their rivals from Wassey on 35-14. For my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.